Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're coming across one of my videos, hello, my name is Whitney Wazor and I am a beauty, fashion, and lifestyle YouTuber. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down five beauty facts that I feel you should know. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, pore strips and black masks have been in the market. Now, a lot of the manufacturers knew exactly what the audience needed, and that is a cure to black and white heads. Now, if you would have asked me a week ago which one was better, a pore strip or a black mask, I probably wouldn't be able to give you an answer. Because all along, I thought they do the same exact thing. However, a pore strip has more of an advanced effect than a black mask. Now, a pore strip does exactly what its name says it strips off you know your white heads and dark heads whereas a black mask it doesn't really do anything because if you notice a black mask is like a very thin layer of product and it hardly ever removes anything that's in your pores but with the pore strip you're literally stripping it off your skin with that pulling that tugging effect you are removing you know any white or dark heads that's there in your skin so when I found this out, I was blown away, but then again, again, it makes so much sense. So I really hope that, you know, if you are investing in a pore strip or black mask, you would now know what to invest your money wisely on. Now, removing your makeup can be a tedious task, and I know each and every one of us has a different way to remove our makeup. Now, I've been using the Marcella water from Garnier for the longest time, I would say a good year, and I've tried both the variants, the pink one and the yellow one that is oil infused. Now, even though I've tried it and I have raved about it in my previous videos, I stopped using it lately and that is because I figured out that a coconut oil was a better affordable solution for me to remove my makeup. Now going back to the Garnier Micellar Water, especially the oil infused micellar water, most of the time I realized that the water would be on one end and then the oil would always be on top. Now if you guys know that oil and water just doesn't go together, you cannot dissolve oil in water. So the best alternative for you to remove your makeup is oil-based products. And the reason why I say oil-based products is because when you put on your makeup, your natural oil starts to come out. And when you use oil against oil, it dissolves faster, easier. Now, I am no one to tell you not to use a particular product, especially if you like it. But according to me, coconut oil is so, so much better than micellar water. Next is BB cream and BB creams have existed in our market for years but a lot of people don't actually know that BB cream is simply a drop of foundation and a drop of your moisturizer mixed together and voila! BB cream. Now the reason why a BB cream is more advisable for every day is because it does contain moisturizer and this moisturizer protects your pores and it also protects your skin from pollution and also from it to, from getting too dry. So this is why a BB cream is more preferable. So for you, so many, so if any of you guys are, you know, splurging a lot of money looking for BB creams to buy, stop right now and just take a drop of your foundation, mix it with your everyday regular moisturizer and boom, you've saved a lot of money. Thank me later. So if you're using a stick foundation, a foundation brush is any day advisable because it just blends your makeup properly. If you're using a liquid foundation, you can get away with the sponge, but I honestly feel like you know the best way to apply a foundation is to first use a brush, spread the foundation all over your face, and then take a damp beauty blender and blend everything into your skin. That is the ideal way for you to do your makeup, but however, there are some foundations that work better with a sponge and work better with a brush, so you need to figure that out according to your taste, but this is just my take on it. Last but not least is mascara. Now I know all of us has that one mascara that we just love to the core and we feel really bad when you know it dries up or it's just the product isn't there anymore. And I've got a simple fix for you guys and that is just to mix two drops of olive oil 
in your mascara bottle mix it up and then you got a brand new mascara so guys that's it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed it let me know what are the things that you knew or you didn't know and if you actually liked this video show me that you liked it by giving me a huge thumbs up down below and if you haven't subscribed to my fam already like Do subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button down below and also click the bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. So before I round out this video, I just want to say that I'm really happy that you guys are loving Witness. Now if you're new to my channel, I'm basically doing this series called Witness whereby I'm going to be uploading every single day until Christmas 2019. So I really hope that you are enjoying this series and if you're new to this series then make sure you check out my other videos. I will link them down below and it will also be at the end of this video so stay tuned for that and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys!